Welcome back. Time now for a follow-up on the UK's controversial deal with telecom giant Huawei, long believed to be a Trojan horse for the Chinese government. Despite warnings from the US, Britain went ahead last week and invited Huawei in to help build its new 5G telecom network. Here now to explain why that's dangerous for America and the world is Indiana Congressman Jim Banks, who introduced a bill that would stop the US from sharing intelligence with any country that allows Huawei to operate their 5G networks. Very strong stance there. Congressman, really great to see you um, weighing in so strongly on this. First of all, tell us again why this is such an important issue. Well, Steve, this is really has, has been a confusing week but from coming from the UK. On one hand, reclaiming its sovereignty by, by going through Brexit, reclaiming sovereignty from, from Brussels. And then on the other hand, giving its sovereignty away to Beijing by implementing Huawei into pieces and parts of its 5G system. I, the way I put this, this would be like Margaret Thatcher deciding at the height of the Cold War to invite the KGB to come in and to install the phone system for MI6. If that would have happened, Ronald Reagan would have cut the right. phone cord. It would have crippled that strategic relationship between Reagan and Thatcher, uh, when, uh, who, that relationship that led to winning the Cold War. In this case, Boris Johnson, other leaders, in the UK who have decided to let Huawei um, come, come th directly through the front door into, uh, by into, the, into the 5G system and implement their technologies, this opens up the door to compromising mm -hmm. our valuable national security intelligence. And it's the reason that, that the United States of America needs to be more careful in who we share our intelligence with. That, that's why I introduced the bill that I did. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll get to that in a second. I just want you to respond, if you like, to the argument from the, from the British side, which is that, oh, it's fine because we're not letting Huawei into the core technology. They make this distinction between the core and the periphery, and there's some kind of cap. I think, is it 30 percent, 35 percent? And so what do you make of that? Well, you're, you're going to hear a lot of excuses. You're going to hear that it's the cheapest option. You're going to hear that it's an option that they're only using it in some uh, small parts of the 5G infrastructure. You might hear that this is, th that this is the only option that the UK or other countries have uh, to implementing a 5G system. And all, all of that just isn't the case. The United States of America, companies like Verizon and others are building the very best 5G mm -hmm. network that they possibly can. What's even more important than that, it will be a 5G network that doesn't have the made in China label okay. on it that will protect our valuable intelligence. That, that's what we need to wait for. It might mean waiting uh, uh, for a matter of time to get there, but in the end, we'll all be better off by having mm -hmm. a system that protects our intelligence. So let's just quickly come to your bill. If that passes, can, is that an actual block on what the, the, the government can do, what the, the federal government can do in terms of, of intelligence cooperation? Can you in Congress stop the executive branch from doing that? Well, well first of all, let, let's step back and recognize that President Trump is the first president of, in my lifetime who's chosen not to, not to hug the panda bear and appease China right. and rather be very tough on them, both economically and militarily. Right, right. I so strongly agree with you. My, yeah. my piece of legislation that I introduced would give the president another tool in his toolbox as he goes abroad and speaks with other country leaders mm -hmm. to remind them that this would be a dangerous step forward to allow Huawei to have any part of their 5G system. So my, my piece of legislation is, is very much in, aligned with this president who's had very good instincts about the dangers of Huawei every, from, from day one and give him another tool to fight back against uh, Huawei infiltrating uh, 5G networks abroad. Well, good for you. I really, really appreciate your work on this and um, hope you can keep us in touch and come back soon to talk about it. Good to see you, Congressman. You got it. Thank you.